what is up? Welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, hello, my name is Gabby. I am a Lululemon educator, and today's video, as you can probably already tell by the title, is another monthly haul of everything I bought in the month of August. Just as a disclaimer, I do get a discount as a employee of Lululemon. However, I still purchase all of these things with my own money that I make from my job here and on YouTube. So just wanna throw that out there. This video is not sponsored whatsoever. I just love sharing everything that I bought within each month with all of you. I will have everything linked down below in the description in case you're curious about any of the items I mentioned in today's video. So be sure to check that out in case you want to shop any of these things and we can twin, but without further ado, if you want to see everything I got in the month of August, then just keep on watching. All right, I actually ended up getting quite a bit of stuff this month, and I didn't exactly plan that out to be. However, I feel like there was a lot of great markdowns, so I went a little crazy. Anyways, let's start off here with the first bag. I got a lot of sports bras here. So the first one is this energy bra. This is a high neck long line in the motif. So it does say Lulu Lemon on the front in a little bit of a graphic here. This is the color Wild Mint, and I absolutely am obsessed with the color. It is so gorgeous. Yes, the graphic is a little odd, I would say, with the placement of Lululemon on it. However, again, I work there. I feel like it's not a big deal. I will get a lot of wear out of this. The high neck energy bras are one of my favorite things to wear to berries. I'll wear this and a pair of shorts or leggings or something. I just prefer wearing like a high neck top so that it's a little bit more coverage, almost like a tank, and there's not that much space between the waistband of my bottoms and this so I do really get a lot of wear out of these when I do work out one of my favorite things to work out in the other thing I really liked on here is it does have a few little cute messages that says move your body and still your mind I just think this is such a cute little detail on it but that is the first thing I picked up because it did go on markdown and I was waiting for it to finally hit the we made too much section the next thing I got is another sports bra I've already worn this one this is the line reversible bra this is the flower burst multi and charged indigo is what it reverses to if you guys saw my previous haul you know that I already have the groove pants that I absolutely love unfortunately it's been a little bit too hot to wear pants recently but I think this is gonna be such a cute set for fall I also really love that this flower burst multi could also really go well with the kind of charged indigo since it's you know kind of on both sides it obviously pairs well so I could either wear it this way with the groove pants or the other way I also have the wonder trains in this color so again another cute little matching set and I've been absolutely obsessed with the Align reversible bras lately I also did go up to a size 4 in these if you watch my previous ones you know that I got a size 2 I do find them slightly tight that kind of dig in on the side here I will say the 4 does fix that problem however I do find it rolls a little bit kind of at the front part of the band just at the top it can kind of be a little bit looser but again more for comfort not necessarily for working out but that is the next thing I got all right moving on is a, another sports bra surprise surprise this one was also on markdown so this is the free to be serene this is my absolute favorite sports bra from Lululemon I will wear these for running or ringette or something that I do put something over top of again another great sports bra this is in the screen green and I do have the hottie hots in this so I wanted to make a matching set since I didn't get an aligned tank or anything in this color so I thought that this would be appropriate to wear as a matching set since I probably would work out in the hottie hots anyways it's quite a bold color for me but I do think it's like great for summer it really brings out the tan and when it's on markdown I feel like it's an even better deal Okay, and the next thing I got is this little feeling ready pouch. This is like the perfect makeup bag. It is abrasion resistant and water resistant as well, so that's really nice. It's kind of a very like puffy material, but also very sleek. It just has the little Lululemon logo on the front there, super cute. And then on the inside, it does have one mesh pocket to kind of store and organize your items. And then like the main compartment in here as well. I just use this as a makeup bag, but I feel like this could also double really nice as like a pencil case or if you have other essentials that you need to organize like cords or I don't know other tech gear perhaps whatever it might be I think that this is a really versatile pouch so I did want to go ahead and 
and pick up a new makeup bag so I did have to bring my like giant one from Sephora when I just needed a few items so I really actually liked this on my trip it was very handy I kept the tags on so that I could haul it for you but I did actually use it on my trip and I do love that this has like a little compartment to divide so I'll just put like my makeup brushes in here and then the rest of my makeup in here so that is the next thing I got this one was not on markdown it was regular price all right and the last thing no the second last thing I have in this bag these black granite align pants went on markdown as well I recently picked up the 25 inch length of these but I was so surprised to see that these ones went on markdown I definitely thought that this would be one of more of the core colors at Lululemon so I am obsessed with them and I had to pick up another pair as a backup or I'll probably just like alternate them or if I wanted you know a longer length I did end up going with the 28 this time just for like winter but this is honestly like the most perfect neutral shade that isn't black it's slightly off black I would say it is quite quite dark in gray tone but it is not black um, so here's kind of a look at the color maybe like a washed out faded black you could describe it as but again this color pairs so so nicely with so many things I had to go ahead and pick up another one of these because you Usually when things go on markdown, they're not coming back. In fear of that, I went and bought another pair. Okay, and the last thing in this bag is the True Identity card case. Now, I already have one of these in black, and I use it every day in my belt bag, but look how cute these colors are. I just couldn't pass this one up. This is like the pastel blue, iron blue, and raw linen in color. I just thought this was so cute. I definitely would have a second card case, maybe just store like gift cards or like the non-essential cards and then have one for like my essential cards like my credit cards and my ID and stuff like that so I did decide to pick up another one they're super small and slim perfect for the belt bags or any small other kind of bags and really has helped me kind of eliminate the amount of cards that I bring along with me so I could either switch out my black one for this one or use this if I'm like traveling or something and need like my extra cards like my healthcare stuff like that I could bring along this one so again I absolutely love the true identity card cases highly recommend if you haven't had one already just a small slim little card case wallet you can also hook it to a keychain if you want through like this small loop in it some people do that I do that I don't know if I necessarily recommend it I feel like it would stress it out a little bit but again a great card case highly recommend the next thing I bought I've already used and tested out for the past week and I can honestly say I really love it and that is the new back to life tumbler from Lululemon when I saw this drop on the website I absolutely freaked out because Lululemon just needed a tumbler for such a long time and then it became like a reality so I was super excited to see this on the website this is the color pale raspberry it does have like a little flip up straw here so I do like that because you don't actually have to touch the straw it just has like a little I don't know what you call this like flip divot thing so you can just raise the straw like that or push it back down it does say Lululemon on the front here kind of engraved like that and then on the inside there's already water in here so I'm gonna try it really hard not to spill it but of course it just has the straw and then as you can see in here it keeps water really cold just like the water bottles do it is double insulated like a metal insulated cup so it will keep ice drinks cold I would say probably eight hours at least it does keep my drinks cold for the entire day that I am at work and even overnight as well I love waking up to cold water highly recommend getting one of these if you want to try out a tumbler from Lululemon I would say it's pretty leak resistant not leak proof I wouldn't store it like this but as you can see it's not gonna spill all over your bag if it does tip on its side by accident so I do like that because my Yeti just has like the little hole for the straw on top it doesn't seal at all that one's a little bit harder to take around with me and the straw doesn't actually fold down so I do like that feature of this one here and there's plenty of colors online now so I'm super excited to see what other colors they might release in this but I've been absolutely loving it since I got it and highly recommend checking it out if you need a drink wear for school or work I think this one makes it really easy to be motivated to drink more water, or at least it has for me. All right, moving on to more things in this box. This 
is highly coveted on TikTok and social media in general, I feel like. This is the crossbody bag with the nano pouch. And I will have to say shout out to Jess McKay here on YouTube and TikTok. I feel like she was the pioneer of this and she got on the trend way before everybody else and way before it like blew up. I think she has like the artifact color and they didn't come out with black and the white for a long time and then they did and that's when they really blew up. I caught this on a random restock and just impulsively bought it because everybody has been loving it and I wanted to review it a little bit and see if it was worth the hype. I would say I do actually really like this bag as a larger or like more dressy bag than the everywhere belt bag. Obviously. If I'm going out for the night, on date night, or something a little bit more fancy, the belt bag kind of dampers the look. So I do like having this one as more of a fancy look. And apparently it is supposed to look similar to some sort of designer bag that I don't really know of because I don't follow designer bag things but I'm sure you guys will let me know down in the comments anyways it does have this little nano pouch and it does actually detach from the little straps here if you wanted it to it's just a tiny pouch here you could store like your airpods or some lip chap or anything that you need easy access to even your keys I feel like you could put in there and then so that is here the only downside of this is that I wear my purse this way or on this shoulder just because I'm like I'm right-handed so like this way feels better of course I could wear it like this way but it just feels wrong anyways the pouch actually ends up being in the back for me instead of in the front so that would be the only downside is that you can't actually switch where the pouch is located I would love for it to be on the opposite side too so that it could be on the front for me instead of the back. So that's my one con of this. Other than that, I have been loving the bag. I've used it twice. It does have this like little front pouch. I just restuffed it for the purpose of this video, but a little front pouch here with another little pocket in here to store some essentials, which is great for easy access. It does have like a little pouch in the back as well. I like to put my phone in here for quick access. And then the bag itself is actually quite spacious in here, so as soon as I remove the stuffing, it does kind of, kind of have the one main compartment with one like interior little pockety thing as well. And I feel like this bag actually gives me a lot of space. I'm not really used to carrying around a lot after having the belt bag for so long. So definitely more space than I probably need, but you could fit like a bigger wallet in here or whatever you need for the night. But I actually have been really loving this bag. Unfortunately, it's sold out right now. I will link it down below just in case it does pop back into stock. But keep an eye out for restocks if you are looking for this. A couple more things I found on Markdown. The first item is this Kate's Tea in the Heathercore Ultra Light Gray. I feel like this is a super simple basic that is going to last forever in my closet. I absolutely love the Kate's Teas. I have one in a size four in blue linen, but I went back to a size two in this one and I would say that I think I like the size two fit better. I was initially worried that it was gonna be too cropped and that's why I went up to the four, but I really don't think it is. I do love this one and I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it. So again, just a basic tee that I feel like you can't go wrong with in your closet. And the other thing I got are these inner glow shorts. This is the Modal fabric, which I absolutely love. These are the best like pajama shorts or like lounge shorts. The material of these are so, so soft. I can't even describe it. And these are the Heathered Savannah color. Um, so it's kind of more like a dark reddy kind of heathered color to it if that makes any sense, but I do have one of these in gray and I've been wearing them so, so much that I had to pick up a second pair just as collateral because it was on markdown and they don't make the Modell fabric anymore. So I loved this version of it and they had one left in my size. So I did go ahead and pick it up. One of my favorite shorts that I've been loving this summer. All right, next few items in here. The first one I found on markdown in my store. This is the side pleats tennis skirt in black. I've been waiting for this one to go on markdown all summer long. This is so cute on, you'll see in the try on. But I kept saying to myself, it would look so much better in white. I'm just gonna wait for the white one. And it never came. And then they marked these down in my store. So I just settled for the black. But guess what? They just released the white. And I think it's only available in the US right now. 
but I'm absolutely obsessed with it so I'm probably gonna get it if it does release in Canada anytime soon anyways I now have another black skirt that I probably didn't need if I'm gonna get the white one but alas it was on markdown so how could I say no it is actually a really cute like tennis skirt I did end up wearing this to golf last night and it was like perfect it does have like the built-in shorts into it with the little side pocket that apparently can fit a phone and or two tennis balls I would assume that they mean a phone on one side and then two tennis balls on the other side so again if you are a tennis player this definitely would work it does have like a little kind of pocket on the back here if you needed to store a card or keys or something like that it has the little draw string for the waistband but this is honestly such a cute little skirt I do think I like it better than the pace rival also because this one is high rise the pace rivals are only mid rise and it's okay but I feel like it limits the type of tops that I can wear with it because I don't want my belly button to show and obviously that's not appropriate for the golf course. This one is high rise so I could wear like an Align tank and nothing will be showing. So I highly recommend checking one of these out and if they do go on markdown for the summer then definitely jump on that. The next thing I got also finally went on markdown that I've been waiting for for a very long time. As you can see, I got a lot of things on markdown this month because markdowns have been fire. I will tell you that. Anyways, these are the Align high rise pants. I got the 28 inches in bronze green. I think this is going to be such a cute color for fall. Highly recommend don't sleep on these if they're still in stock. Be sure to grab them because I don't know, they kind of look like an odd color when I just hold them up, but on, I feel like they're really, really flattering. So I tried these on in store and I was actually shocked that I liked them on me because I'm usually not really like a warm toned type green gal, but I actually really liked this color in the pants. Added these to my We Made Too Much watch list, finally hit the markdown section, so I was sure to pick up another one. And I did get the 28s because I feel like the 25s are a little bit short for length like they are ankle length for me but in the winter I don't really like having my ankles exposed so I went with the 28s and if I always decide otherwise I could hem them up to 25s and I don't think it would be a big deal so yeah that is the next thing I purchased all right moving on to the next little bag here the first thing I have is this another Align reversible bra and this is in the white cheetah camo antique multi I believe it's called a little bit of a mouthful but it is this gorgeous like little white cheetah pattern on here and this kind of blew up on TikTok as well I did like it when it came into store and I was like oh it'll probably go on markdown so I'm just gonna wait and see but then it really picked up on TikTok and people were starting to buy it and it was starting to sell out so I went ahead and purchased this one and I think it is so cute just like paired with pastels paired with Java it, again it's a neutral so I feel like it could pair well with a lot of things and definitely translates into winter as well so got that this is also in a size 4 and then to go with I had to get the matching align shorts so these are the 6 inch align shorts they are double lined which means that there's two layers of fabric in here so that they're not sheer obviously as a very light color you wouldn't want anything to be sheer so it does have like a white type of liner on the inside to help that I did go down to a size 0 because twos were sold out across the board in store online and in my store so i i can make a size zero work to be honest i probably would have preferred a two however this will do this is such a cute set so many people were wearing it i'm very excited to wear it as well i absolutely love the little matching set moment of this and paired with like a hoodie for like a pop of color is so cute and on that note, I was super surprised to see these ones already on Markdown, and that is the full length Align Pant in the same cheetah camo antique white multi pattern. So like I said, this translates into winter really nicely, so I could still wear the top and this as a matching set with like a sweater over top, and I feel like that would be super cute, or just wear this with any type of pastel-like top. Again, just, I... Oh, I love it and I did want to wait for these ones to go on markdown because again they are double lined 
lighter color. They're gonna be a little bit more sheer if they weren't double lined. So there is two layers of fabric in here. And I know a lot of people don't like them, so I knew there was a good chance of getting them on Markdown. I'm glad that I waited to get them on Markdown and they are still available in my size. So that is the full cheetah camo set. I think they have the Align Tank high neck in it, the free to be serene bra and I think an energy bra as well so if you want to get a different bra to go with it that's definitely like a possibility or a different top then that's super cute but highly recommend these I think they're going to be great for winter because they are double lined all right the next thing I have here for you is a new pair of wonder trains this is part of the Ed Curtis line which is like a collaboration they did with an artist from London. I think he worked with Marc Jacobs on their fashion line and stuff. And they did one of these lines last year, but it was really wacky patterns. So I don't think a lot of people really recognized it and like gravitated towards it. And I feel like this one is definitely hit or miss for sure, but I really liked it. I love the color combo. So this is Wonder Trains. The color is poolside but it has this cute little sonic pink Lululemon down the side. It is just like paint stripes almost, like paint brush stroked Lululemon down the side. Kind of hard to show you here, but you'll see better in the try on. And then it just says Ed Curtis at the bottom of the leg here. But we really haven't seen a lot of poolside in the bottoms lately. I feel like a few more just came out, which is great. But a lot of people love this color. So I definitely had to kind of jump on that train because again, I loved the color combo. It gives me like 80s aerobics vibes. And honestly, I'm kind of living for it in these pants. I would say that these were a little bit more expensive than regular Wonder Trains. And since it's like really hit or miss, I feel like these could make it to Markdown in a lot of sizes if you wanted to wait for it. However, it will probably go fast when it does hit Markdown. But I absolutely love the little color combo going on here. So had to get those when I saw them. Okay, the next item I have here actually just came in today, which is perfect timing to film this haul. And this is the Scuba Oversized Full Zip in the Heather Core Ultra Light Gray. I already have the half zip in it, and honestly, it's probably my number one worn scuba. So when I saw it in a full zip, I don't really have a lot of full zips. I just caved and impulsively bought it because I think this color is such a staple for any closet. It's not really gonna go out of style because it's a great neutral. It's gonna pair with so many things. And I just love the full zips. I have my pink blossom one. I wish, you know, I could wear it more, but honestly the pink is only goes with so many things so i love that they came out with the gray in it so i did buy this one as like backup and an alternative to my half zip i like that this one obviously you can wear open which gives you more options and it's easier to take on and off so for like colder fall days i feel like this is going to be really nice and then in the winter maybe the half zip is a little bit more like warm and cozy but I don't know. I'm just super excited that this dropped and yeah, I had to get it. So that is the next thing I got and you'll probably catch me wearing this in a lot of videos in the near future. All right, last package I have here for you has a few things in here. The first one is this pale raspberry Swiftly Tech tank. I got rid of mostly my Swiftly Techs because they weren't just really colors that I wore. It was way before I worked at Lululemon and I just bought them because they were on Markdown. I had a gift card. I'm like, oh, I'll probably get a lot of wear out of these. I love the Swiftly Techs and I still love them. I just probably didn't love those colors to be honest. So I did decide to pick up a new one that I probably would get more wear out of in the summer. So this is the color Pale Raspberry. Like I said, it is the race length and I get a size two in them. I would say they fit pretty true to size and I love the Swiftly line. So had to jump on this one. I thought this was super cute. It is kind of similar to Raspberry Cream, but I would say it's almost more like red in color where Raspberry Cream is more orange, but they're both very bright and vibrant. So that is the first thing I picked up. The next thing I picked up is actually a swimsuit. I probably won't include this in the try on just for safety purposes, but you can check out the website to see the photos of it. And this is the smocked mid rise skimpy swim bottom. I would say that these do fit pretty true to size. I did throw them on before the video, just kind of as a, like a test 
wear and I would say that yes these fit just fine like normal bottoms or any sizes you would get in bottoms kind of thing maybe if you have like the line shorts whatever size you get in that I would get in these because it fits similar to a liner but this is in the hyper stripe white pink bliss color it does have like a little bit of a texture to it hence the name smocked but the actual stripes in this are like a rose gold pink color which sold me the first time I thought this was super super pretty I don't really need a new bathing suit but I think that for next year, I will definitely get some wear out of this one and it's just going to be a cute little staple to have tucked away for when I do get to a pool or a beach, which doesn't seem very often, but of course I had to get the top to go with it. This is the smocked swim top for a B cup. They do have a CD cup as well, but I love the simplicity of this one. I did get a size four, which again is probably my more true to size sports bra size. So would recommend going with your regular sports bra size and I love the simplicity of this one because it doesn't have like adjustable straps which I guess is kind of like an ironic statement but I just love that you know it's just like a bralette top and it's so so simple and like clean looking so I do love that about it and this texture is just like so soft and I don't know I think this would be really cute for summer. Okay, the next couple of things I also got on Markdown. You guessed it, another Align reversible bra. This one is in pastel blue. I honestly do get a lot of wear out of my pastel blue Align high neck tank and I get a lot of compliments on the color. So I thought I would get another top in pastel blue. So when this went on Markdown, I just had to pick it up in this color. I also wanted to kind of prepare for the Align leggings to go on markdown in this color because I have been eyeing those for a very long time. They haven't hit the markdown section yet, but this one did and so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It is supposed to be like a heathered pastel blue on the other side, but I would say you can't really tell much of a difference. So it's basically just pastel blue on both sides and can't really complain about that. I love the Align Reversible Bras and I did go with a size four in this one as well. And the last item here that I have for you is another free to be serene sports bra. This is in the color Ancient Copper. I think this is going to be such a perfect color for fall. And again, it just has like a cross strapped back favorite sports bra and I was eyeing this one for a while waiting for it to go on markdown so when it did I had to pick it up and that is the last thing I got in this giant haul. But that is going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything I got in the month of August. It was a lot of markdown items and I feel like markdowns have been super good recently. So I am excited to head into the fall time and see what Lululemon brings out for, you know, fall and winter. But leave me a comment down below if you made it to the end of this video on your favorite items you might have picked up this month. If, did you find a good deal on something? Did you find a rare item? Let me know down below. And if you did enjoy this video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. But I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!